Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an eye. This is a quick sketch of an eye, and I'm gonna show you how to do it on a, a brown piece of a cereal box, just for the ease of this video. And it's a great um, medium for you to be able to use that you might have around the house. Now, first thing is, is I'm going to just tape it down so it doesn't move on me. And then we'll begin from here. When you're drawing an eye, you need to think about what materials you're going to use. Now, for the sake of this, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to use a few different materials. And we are going to use these materials in our sketch. This is charcoal. This is 2B charcoal. This is a pencil. Then we have a white colored pencil, a black colored pencil, and a tortillion or a stumpy, which will blend. You can use this for um, blending a bunch of different things, but the easiest thing is usually with charcoal or with graphite, or which is your typical pencil. The other thing is, is with our stumpy or tortillion, you could also use just rolled up newspaper or um, some tissue paper. Set those to the side. When we start with drawing an eye, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to come and we're going to make an arch. Now, if you are doing two eyes, you are going to do both eye at the, eyes at the same time. Now you can see there's my arch for my eye. This is going to be a right eye. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to make the left part, not the left part, the bottom part for my eye. Here we go. Okay, now I've got those two parts. Now to make it a little bit easier for you to see, I'm just gonna come back over with charcoal so you can really see the nice shape of those eyes. When you do two eyes at a time, you always, always, always want to do each individual part at the same time because otherwise it's very difficult to get them even. Okay, so now I have this part. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is more of a gestural line. You don't have to make it absolutely perfect because if you do, it's going to make it very, very difficult. So don't be concerned if you've added multiple lines. We'll figure that out a little bit later. Then we're gonna do the actual iris part of the eye. It's gonna come in, you're gonna come around, you're going to make a beautiful, beautiful round part. You're not gonna see all the eye, because if you look at your neighbor's eye, your friend's eye, your mom's eye, your dad's eye, grandma's eye, you'll notice you do not see the entire iris typically ever unless they're in complete shock or, or surprise. So now we have the middle part of this eye. Okay. Now, very important, you have the pupil. The pupil is the dark, dark part. So I'm gonna come in, you will see the pupil. Now when you're doing your pupil, you wanna make sure, especially here and here and here, that the negative space or the space that you are going from the pupil to the outer edge of the iris is the same in measurement. So you should be able to literally eyeball that to make sure it's even. That way your pupil will end up in the right spot. So you're just gonna come around very carefully, very carefully, and make a nice circular pupil. Now, this is the thing. You can see I'm using multiple, multiple, multiple strokes to be able to make that pupil. The reason is, is it's gonna make it easier for me to get that. Same thing with the iris. There is not just one line. Don't try and do just one line. It's gonna make it very, very difficult for you to do. So don't be afraid of having multiple strokes. It's gonna look very, very nice in the end. And now we have this. Next part is you are gonna have a catch light. And a catch light is that little bit of light that makes you look or your subject look like they're alive. So you're gonna basically just come in here and give a little circle where you're gonna have a catch light. Sometimes people have double catch lights. We're just gonna do one for our purposes today. And we're gonna fill that just to make that nice circle. Okay, now the blackest, blackest part of your eye is definitely gonna be your pupil. So you can come in with a colored pencil, black colored pencil, and you can really make that really nice and dark. So come in really, again, little circles, emphasizing little circles because they do not keep directional strokes and it's gonna look much nicer. So you wanna come in and really make little, little circles all the way around and that way you it just looks like one continuous color or shape. Okay, so we've got this really, really nicely in here. I'm gonna fill that in quickly. Here we go. 
a little bit in here. Really nice and dark. And you can go over this multiple times too. Now this is called a Prismacolor pencil and it's a little bit different from your regular pencils because it is uh, oil based as opposed to graphite based. So it blends much nicer than a regular colored pencil. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now we have the basic part of your eye. Again, far, far, far from being done. Okay. The next part of your eye that you're gonna do is you're actually gonna come in and you're gonna do the tear duct part. So it's almost like a, just a little curve. You're just gonna add that little curve right in here. And then you're gonna just come across the top and we're gonna make our eyelid. So I just want you to come to about the midpoint above the pupil and the iris and then stop. And then you're just gonna come on a little bit of an angle and bring this down. Okay, so now you have your eyelid. Again, don't be concerned if you have multiple lines, it's much better. Okay, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna look at this and we're gonna go, okay, I probably want a little bit of the expansion and the contraction of the eye because your eye is a muscle. And if you look at someone's eye, you'll be able to see that there's a muscle that goes in and out. And it's really kind of cool because you can actually see, if you look at someone's eye closely enough, how that muscle works, especially in light and dark. So I'm just gonna come around and I'm going to make a radial design. So it's just gonna come in, pretending like it was coming all the way out. And I'm gonna make some nice lines all the way out. You can do this different ways. You can start from one end, you can do it different ways. It's totally up to you how you wanna do this and just add a bunch of different lines because everybody's eye is different and unique. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm actually gonna darken up this area right here. And you can do this with pencil as well. I'm just gonna darken up this line that comes all the way around because it's usually black, even on blue eyes, it's quite black. And then I'm gonna use my Stempy. And all I'm gonna do with my Stempy is, again, directionally with this one, I'm not gonna do the little circles. I actually want to make lines that go back and forth. Now, much easier with a Stempy and charcoal, but again, very much doable for if you have a pencil as well. Okay, so coming in here, really, really nice. And now you've got Basically, that would be the colored part. So this would be blue or brown or green, okay, or aquamarine. Okay, now I'm gonna come around here one more time and I'm just gonna darken up this edge. So I'm just gonna come one more time right around this edge, right around this edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? But you're gonna darken up this edge and it's gonna give your eye a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to go directionally around the eye Go right around the eye. Here we go. And there I have that. Now, I have a lot of charcoal or buildup of graphite you could have on here. To get to use this to our advantage, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make our eyeball, which is actually a ball, look like a ball. So I'm going to shade this part of it like a ball. So I'm just gonna come in here. Again, I'm gonna know it's gonna be round and I'm gonna curve little circles, little, little circles. I'm gonna curve this around really nicely. It's gonna usually be darker in the edges on the, on the corners. So if you wanna do that, here we go. Little circles and away we go. Okay, so that's looking more three-dimensional. Now, if I really wanna bump it up a little bit, I could actually take some of my colored pencil and I could come in and add a little bit more of that white. Little circles again. Love my little circles. Here we go, little circles, little, little circles. And my eye is coming together nicely. Now you can tweak this, modify this, change this how you'd like. That is completely up to you. Another part of this to make it look real is your eyelid is actually a lid. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to have a bit of a shadow. Your eyelid actually casts a bit of a shadow on your eye. So if you look at your eye in the mirror, or you look at your neighbor's eye, you'll see that there's an actual little bit of a shadow. So I'm just gonna come along this edge and I'm just gonna darken that, take my time, darken that a little bit, just along this edge, give it a little bit more depth. And then I wanna blend that a little bit. So I'm gonna come along with my newspaper or whatever I've got, and I'm just gonna blend that. So very, very gently, I'm just gonna take this, blend this directionally this time, not necessarily in little circles, and blend that down. So now I have that little bit of a shadow that the eyelid creates. And my eyes coming together a little bit nicer again. Now, catch light, obviously my catch light is gonna be nice and white, so I'm gonna add that nice white area so we can get that really, really nice and white, and it's gonna look a little bit more bright. And I can come in here and I can tweak this and I can play with this and really get that to look lovely. Now, again, if you don't have a colored uh, uh, charcoal, you can always use a little bit of colored pencil and just come in along this edge and make it look amazing. And just be very light with your hand movements because it's hard to cut, erase colored pencil. So just come in very gently and go for that. Now, you've got your eyelid and you're thinking, okay, well my eyelid, eyelid's great. No, your eyelid isn't great. It has color to it too. So you just can, you can just take a little bit of shadow, a little bit of shadow and bring that in and bring it over just a smidge. Okay. There's also usually on the top of your eyelid, because that's the crevice that sort of goes into your face, you're going to add a little bit of a shadow here. So just come here a little bit, make that a little darker, a little bit darker in here. Bring this here. Really, really nicely. Now, this is the next thing I'm going to tell you because this is a classic thing that people do. They get to this point and they're like, okay, it's awesome, it's beautiful, I love it. And then they try to do the eyelashes and the eyelashes mess up terribly. When you are doing your eyelashes, you are not making spiders, and that sounds crazy, but you are not going kink, 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 kink and making spiders. In essence, you are actually gonna make a, and I'm gonna show you over here, I'm gonna take this here. You are going to actually come in and you're going to make almost like a Nike sign or a check mark and it's gonna go under your eyelid. And I'll show you how to do that. Do not make spider things. We do not want a spider. As lovely as that would be, we can put a little spider here. Let's give him spider. Here we go, four, eight legs. Here we go. And here's our spider. Do not make a spider. No spiders, okay? No cute little spiders, even though they're cute. Um, do not make spiders. Make check marks, Nike signs, and you'll be okay. Okay, so here we're back to our eyeball. So we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna start at the edge or at the base of your eyelid. And you're going to make that Nike sign. It's gonna come up and it's gonna come over. So you're gonna, and you're not gonna worry if it is a little bit, some are long and some are short because that's gonna actually look quite natural. So you're going to just have fun, play with this. Do not make these too long. This does take a little bit of time to learn but that is okay, because that's what you're doing. You've got lots of time to learn, and the more practice, the better it's gonna be. So you're just gonna come in here, and you're going to make this beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous eyelid, and eyelash. Okay, ever so slightly. You do not have to go all the way down, and they do taper off a little bit as they come closer down into your tear duct, so don't go crazy on that. Okay, so here we go. You can just sort of overlap those. Again, Nike, Nike, um, symbols, you're gonna start under the eyelid and go up a little bit. Now you can practice this if you were doing a beautiful drawing, I would truly, truly suggest that you take your time and you do it somewhere else, maybe practice in your sketchbook before you put it on your finished drawing or, your, on, or on your finished piece. Okay, looking at this, I might just bump up the contrast a little bit more for that white area between the white and the dark. And again, it's all about contrast. And that sounds crazy, but it really is. If you want your, I tell my students this all the time, if you want your uh, artwork to look like oatmeal, which is lovely for breakfast cereal, you it's, it's great, but it is not what you want your drawings to look like because they won't have any oomph or power to them. And we really want you to have power to your drawings. Okay, so we've got that. Now, we've missed the tear duct a little bit. So what I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna actually add a little bit of 
cut a little bit of um, shading to the tear duct, just a smidge. And then I might actually bump up this a little bit and I might take my colored pencil and just really make this a little darker in this edge. Here we go. Okay. Now, this is the other thing. You have the bottom now of your eye. Now the bottom of your eye actually has eyelashes too, very small eyelashes, but you don't want to go nuts and crazy on those. So you're just gonna, you can just come along here with a little bit of, of shading. Again, charcoal does make it easier, but you can also do this with pencil. Just use a light touch. And now you've got the bottom part of your eye. You can gently come along with your pencil or your charcoal and just bring that little bit along the edge. Again, do gestural because if it's not absolutely perfect, it's okay. Nobody is absolutely perfect unless you're a cartoon character. Okay, this one goes a little different. The bottom goes a little bit different. The bottom actually comes out a little bit, almost like a, a vine. So you're just gonna come in here and sort of curl it out. You don't wanna to put too many in the bottom because you don't wanna detract. So just a couple on the bottom, typically, and that's where we leave it. It looks quite nice so far. You can really and truly make this more fantastic by adding more and more detail. You can add a little bit more white in here. You can play with this a little bit more. It really depends on how much you want to bump this up. So maybe I'll come in here and I'll maybe darken this around this edge a little bit more just so that it's got a bit more contrast again. So the contrast is the difference between the light and the, and the black. So just take your time, make it beautiful. Now, I have lots of friends who always ask, Mrs. G, Mrs. G, can I please, please, please add some color? And this is the time where I would absolutely say, add color if you would like to add color. And you can add it with colored pencil, you can add it with a bunch of different things, and I would add it into the iris, and it'll work quite nicely. Now, I'm thinking I really don't have a lot of things right around here, but if I were to play with something, let's see. Hmm. So if you wanted to add color, I've just gone and gotten some colored pencils. I've got a light blue, a dark blue, and a green. And this is where you could actually come in here if you wanted to and just add a little bit. You don't want to take away too much from your beautiful, beautiful eyeball and the beautiful sketch that you just created. But if you want to add a little bit, you can. You could actually watercolor. You could do a bunch of different things. Just know that you've got to know your medium. So if your medium was potentially um, charcoal and you were using watercolor, it might muddy it. So you got to think about that. If it's graphite, it would probably be fine. So I'm just going to come in a little bit. And again, radial design. I'm going to get those lines to just go out from the center. And then I'm going to come in and I might add a little bit of that darker color. It's nice to have the really nice to have the, the charcoal underneath. A lot of the masters years ago, that I'll, actually all of the masters used to do their underdrawings for their paintings with charcoal. And they'll sometimes take x-rays and look at and see what the underdrawings actually looked like. A lot of the times they were very, very different from what the actual painting ended up being in the end. So we're just gonna come in here with this, got a little bit of this, and then I might come in Again, sounds crazy, but I'm gonna add a little green just to give it a little bit more of a bump, a little bit difference, because a lot of the time we just do not have one color eye. We have hazily green eyes, we have a little bit of brown eyes, we have different, different colors of eyes, and it's always nice to add a little bit of color. And it also gives it a little bit of a nice contrast. So I'm just gonna come in here very, very carefully and come along here and make it look absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Play with that a little bit. And then we have a much, much nicer eye. And you can really start to see how that nice little bit of light blue looks really quite nice. And then you can even add a little bit of white in there with your colored pencil. And it's hard to see because I've got, here, we'll just add a little bit of white. Comes out. And then that is your basic eye. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and you'll try this on your own and you'll do a fantastic job. I have little doubt. It's lots of fun, lots and lots and lots of fun. And I really enjoy do doing eyes. We will cover other parts of the body a little bit later. Remember, if you're doing one eye, always do the same on the other side. If you're doing two eyes, if you're just gonna do an eye period, that's fine, it's a great thing to practice. But I really do suggest if you are doing multiple or 
symmetrical eyes, you do the symmetry at the same time. So if you're drawing the top part of the eye on one side, you draw the top on the other side and so on and so forth. Don't try and do one eye in total and then go to the other side. It will never work out. But you guys will do fantastic. Very, very proud of you. Enjoy. I hope you've hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just give me um, uh, a shout out and I will definitely help you. All right. Take care. Bye bye.